Ben, thanks for joining me. ARC has reported its maiden mineral resource estimate at the Sandy Mitchell Rare Earths and Heavy Minerals project. To start, what stood out to you in these numbers? Yeah, hi Alex, thanks for your time. Uh, look, there's lots that stood out, um, to be honest. We've got our maiden jork resource for stage one, um, just been released. Stage two is underway. Um, we've also got an exploration target, which we're working on, which encompasses stage one, two, and we've actually drilled through the centre of the exploration permit and we've done some regional work with the auger. So the exploration target over the whole area is, is quite exciting as well, given what we've found from you know the stage one results that we're talking about today. Um, what it does um, encompass is a whole basket of minerals, um, including zircon, russo, ilmenite, and obviously the rare earth component through to a monocyte. So very exciting stuff. Thanks, Ben. Now, Sandy Mitchell is a placer deposit with minerals hosted in the sands. What are some of the attributes of placer deposits that make this MRE unique? Yeah, good question, Alex. Look, the um, the benefits of sand is it's um, it's a very simple process to recover. The work we've done with mineral technologies has proved that um, just a single gravity process um, will allow us uh, to recover up to commercial grade of uh, monazite. And um, we can further look at processing of the zircon, the ruto, or the, nil the ilmenite, which are very prevalent in the uh, maiden resource and, and definitely worth uh, further investigation. Um, so I guess uh, the key factors for sand is um, the very low capex potential um, and very easy to mine given that we're from zero from the surface down to 12 metre average. We've got commercial, um, potential commercial grade material. Um, I guess uh, also one thing to, to, to be mindful of is when you're working with clays, um, you've got um, not only your mining element, uh, but processing, acids, scrubbing. Um, there's a lot of steps between feeding into a recoverable plant and, and hard rock's the same. You know, you've got uh, complexities of, of, of energy, grinding, environmental uh, approvals and that flows on from there. We see ours as a very quick to market, um, very low impact environmentally, low cost type of operation. And finally, Ben, metallurgical test work has returned strong results to date with final concentrate assays of 51.9% total rare earth oxide. Does this MRE further support the project's downstream economics? Yeah, it really does. Yeah, I, th I think we've... Um, uh, looking at the uh, Shanghai Metals Exchange, um, the monazite values circa, you know, in the five five thousands uh, US a ton. Um, this project should deliver some um, substantial um, quality product. It's proven with mineral technologies test work we, we are at, at that level. Um, and uh, look, um, I think our uh, average monazite equivalent grades, you know, 1,419 parts per million from surface down to 12 metres. Um, yeah, we're really confident that we can uh, deliver our pre-feasibility this year in 2024, um, and uh, that should deliver us a um, commercial project in the coming, uh, you know, two years. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Ben. Congratulations on your maiden mineral resource estimate and all the best for your future plans at Sandy Mitchell. Thanks very much, Alex. Appreciate it.